An economist and management consultant, Dr. Ishmael Yamsen, wants the 1992 constitution amended to promote consistency in economic policy. Addressing this year's New Year School, he cited portions of the constitution which impede the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. Clause 35.7 of the 1992 constitution provides that, as far as practicable, a government shall continue and execute projects and programs commenced by the previous government. However, the same constitution also states that within two years after assuming office, the president shall present to parliament a coordinated program of economic and social development policy, including agriculture and industrial programs at all levels and in all regions in Ghana. Such provision Dr. Yamsen insists require amendment. The LDPC, under the last administration, prepared a 40-year long-term plan, which now appears to be shelved, and with it, or everything that they did. So there is a reality that until this constitutional provision is removed or amended, we will have no consistency of economic policy, which is critical for sustained economic development. He also observed that past president had taken advantage of the provision and discarded everything their predecessors did, including discontinuing projects and programs, often at great cost to the country. He stated that the provision clearly makes it mandatory for our president to choose not to continue with economic policies of their predecessors and Ghana Beyond Aid, a product of this provision, may suffer the same fate. Dr. Yamsen also stated that the constitution gave the president exclusive powers of appointment in the public sector, which makes the winner takes all possible. From serving the public to recovering their own investment. Besides the high cost of participating in elections, there is also the dangerous development of extreme polarization in the political space, which now prevents any attempt to build national consensus behind anything including economic policy and direction. The winner-takes-all model means that only one party supporters will be appointed to hold senior offices in government and the public sector, instead of the ablest, and repeat, ablest officials. 